reception at Little Sutton Primary School, we teach our phonics through letters and sounds. Our phonics sessions are split into five sections. Revisit and review, introduce and teach, practice, apply and plenary. The children are organised in their phonics spaces so that those with the greatest need are closest to their teacher so that any misconceptions can be addressed in the moment of learning. Right, this morning reception we are going to be learning a new sound but before we do we're going to recap the sounds that we already know with our are you ready so where should our eyes be we begin our phonics session through activating the children's prior knowledge we do this through are you ready on the screen on the board well done this is where the children recall the phonemes they already know through recognizing the corresponding graphemes it is fast paced and all of the children are expected to participate <coughs> Whilst it's commonplace to use graphene flashcards, we find that the Are You Ready works well for us because it's fast paced and it enables the teacher to assess the children in the moment. Very good. Therefore, as the teacher, I'll be watching the children and looking out for those correct enunciations and picking up any misconceptions after the PowerPoint. Well done, reception. Right, there was one sound there that I think some of us are getting a little bit mixed up. So let's have a little look, let's see if we can find it. Right, this is d. Can we say that together? D. Well done. I will have already seated any children I'm aware may not be able to keep up in my direct line of sight. This one here is b. Can we say that together? B. Look at it. B. And again, b. Super. During the session, I will also be looking out for any other children that are not keeping up, and this will then inform my interventions later that day or after the session. Right, we are going to be learning a new sound, so like I said, we're also going to be learning a new word to help us become superstar readers. So, let's have a little look. Right, today we're going to be learning a common exception word, and this word is he. Can we say that together? He. he. Right, look at the board. We begin with the common exception word, and as the teacher, I explicitly model decoding the word and identifying the tricky part. The children are then encouraged to read the word fluently off the board. He. he. Right, it's got the <gasps> and an e. Now, the tricky part of this word is this <coughs> letter here. This letter normally makes the sound e, doesn't it? But when we see it in this word, it makes the sound e, so it's e, he. Can we say that together? He. Put your hand up if you think you can read our word. Yep. Beautiful. Well done. He. Very good. Can we read it together? He. Superstars. Well done. So this is a word that we're going to be learning this week. If you see it in any of your books when we're doing our reading, perhaps you could tell the teacher that you're learning with and you may well get a golden ticket. Okay, so see if you can find it anywhere at all. Right, today we're learning a new sound. Next we learn a new phoneme and I make sure that the children are all watching my mouth so that they are correctly enunciating the word when it comes to them repeating it after me. Right, it's really, really important that you watch my mouth when I'm saying this, okay. Now the sound we're learning today, listen, is k. Can you say that? Listen carefully. The sound is The final stage of teaching the phoneme is modelling to the children how we would identify that grapheme. So I will explicitly teach identifying the grapheme and placing the sound button beneath it. This is a skill that the children will later implement in their independent activity. Right, oh, I can see the letter X and I know that that makes the sound X. Right, when I press my sound button, remember these are our magic buttons that are linked to you, when I press my sound button, I need to hear you make the sound. Fantastic reception, well done. Right, so we've learnt a new sound, fantastic. We're going to have a go at decoding a word, and it might have our new sound in it. Oh, has 
somebody spotted it already. Put your hand up if you spotted our new sound. We then practice applying our knowledge of our new sound in a word level decoding activity. This is initially modelled by the teacher. Again, this is fast paced and all of the children are expected to participate in this. The sound butters and see if I can blend these sounds together. Put your hand up if you think you might help me. Super blending, let's do that again faster. Excellent blending reception, we are so good. Right, we're going to go off to our tables in a moment and we're going to play a little game and it's called Draw It. Can we say Draw It? Draw, draw it. it. After our concise practice, we then move on to applying this skill in the context of completing an activity. Lovely. Right, you're going to have a word or some of you might have a caption and I want you to see if you can decode that caption to see what it says and then I want you to draw it. Okay. So let's work together to do this one. V a n van. So what do you think I need to draw in this box? Van. A van, a picture of a van, well done. The activity is initially modelled by the teacher before the children go off to their tables to complete the activity independently. So once I've decoded the word and I've read it, van, I'm going to draw it in the box underneath. Let's have a go at decoding this one. Box. Box. The activities are differentiated to ensure that they are pitched to the children's abilities, but also to ensure that they are appropriately challenging for them. My name is And then see if you can decode those words for me. So where some children will be decoding at word level using predominantly phase two sounds, the more able children will be decoding at caption or sentence level. It is essential that all children experience success in their independent practice. I am so impressed. What fantastic blending from all of you. Really, really impressed. To end our phonics lesson, the children will return to the carpet. We will recap the learning. So we'll have another look at the grapheme phoneme correspondence learned today and the common exception word learned today. So let's have another little look at the sound that we learned today. This is our structured reflection and the children are praised on the success of applying their phonic knowledge accurately during their independent activity. Common exception word we learnt today is he. Can we say he? He. he. Very good, well done. When we say our common exception words, do we put sound buttons underneath? No. no, we don't put sound words underneath, do we? We need to just learn to read those so we can become superstar readers in reception. Really, really well done. We then finish the session with our alphabet song where we reinforce the letter names and the sounds that they make. One, two, three. Miss Angela has a bag. E I E I O. And in that bag she has an E. E I E I O. So in my bag I have the letter E and it makes the sound F. Super. Right, who's going to pick out of my bag next? Right, after three. One, two, three. Miss Sangera has a bag. E -I -E -I -O. And in that bag she has a P. So I have the letter P and it makes the sound <laughs> Super, very good. Throughout the lesson, I will be assessing the children and looking out for anybody who is struggling to keep up. Miss Sangera has a bag, e -I 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 -O. and in that bag she has a R.
good. Well done, reception. Super. For any child who has not kept up in the lesson and is in danger of falling behind, there will be a short, sharp intervention on a one-to-one -one basis, particularly focusing on the aspect that the child is struggling with, and this will not be a rerun of the lesson. The class lessons need to be of the highest standard, so that this reduces the need for any interventions for any children falling behind.